Welcome to your next module. And so although we discussed igneous rocks in the last lecture, the lab at least was focused more on the, what we're calling intrusive or plutonic rocks. And so the lecture was kind of everything. And we want to continue a little bit, of course, because we want to talk about volcanoes because, of course, they're geologic. And, of course, they're also related to our igneous rocks we talked about. So we're going to focus on volcanoes, of course, but then we're also going to focus on volcanic rocks, right, in lab. These are the ones that made it to the surface, cooled quickly, have small crystals. And so what you're going to do here for the lecture, the main lecture, is, of course, there's a PowerPoint with a little video here that goes through the PowerPoint. And there's also some additional information in the online textbook here that I'd like you to go through. So really, we're just going to talk about the different types of volcanoes. And we want to relate some of this knowledge we have about igneous rocks, mostly this idea of composition terms, mafic, felsic, intermediate. These were terms that are introduced in the previous module. And they kind of talk about the compositions, the general compositions of igneous rocks. We want to relate that to silica content, which is related to how easily the lava or magma can flow or move. We usually use the term viscosity. And we'll come to find out that that affects the types of volcanoes and how explosive they are. So we're going to go through that certainly in the lecture. And then I threw in just a couple additional hazard videos because different volcanoes, because they erupt differently, have some different hazards. And so here's some terms that you'll be introduced to, pyroclastic flows, lahars, and then a little footage of how Mount St. Helens actually erupted because that's related to, of course, its composition. So when you go through all that content, you should have enough information to be able to take the lecture quiz there. And then for the article, I'm going to have you read about a way that we can measure the explosiveness, I guess, of volcanoes. And so it's kind of like the Richter scale for earthquakes. What it's going to do is going to measure certain things about the volcano and give it a value so that we can compare and contrast and know if it was very explosive, very violent or not. And so that's what you'll learn in the article here. And then finally, for the homework, I'm actually going to have you watch this How the Earth Was Made, this Krakatoa video. It is a really good video for us because, number one, that volcano erupted fairly violently and it produced a lot of the hazards that we talk about in the main lecture. So pyroclastic flows and tsunamis and things like that associated with that type of volcano. And there's some really good graphics. And of course, it also illustrates the power of some of these volcanoes and what damage they can do. So just going to go through that video and then you'll answer the questions associated with that. And that's what you're going to do for the main lecture here. For the lab, of course, the lab content is going to focus on volcanic rocks, just like the previous one did plutonic, focus on volcanic. Of course, the format of the labs is always the same. You're just going to go through the, the, the questions, and of course, you can retake it if you need to increase your score. You need to get a 70% and all that good stuff. Just remember, you need to take an image of the summary the lab summary remember and upload that in the proper location and then you also need to put your name to email me your score okay so i think that's all we need to know for this week's module so if you have any questions or comments or need some help with any of the information in this module please don't hesitate to contact me